and if you're new, hey what's up? My name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video. As usual, there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you like what you see, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up. I do try to post seven days a week, sometimes a couple of times a day and you don't want to miss out on all of the fun content, new releases and just everything that is the Fawn Squad. It is the best community on YouTube and you are one click away from being a part of this amazing community. So with that being said, this video shout out goes to Phoebe Lamanta. Phoebe, I would love for you to do my makeup and it is actually on mine and Kurt's bucket list to go to Australia and I I'm dying to visit Australia, like dying to. We were actually thinking of that for a honeymoon destination eventually because we haven't honeymooned yet. So we may end up in Australia. Oh my goodness. I need to just stop filming for the evening because I have lost my ability to speak. So if I'm ever in Australia, I will let you know and hopefully you're in a part of Australia that would be near to where we're going because I'm sure we'd be flying into Sydney and then who knows where the adventure would take us but oh my gosh I feel so jealous of you being in Australia while I'm in Michigan. You do not want to come to Michigan. If you ever do let me know but trust me you are in a very very great place <laughs> so but I would love for you to do it and then we could do a collab and it would be so much fun. So welcome to the Fawn family, Fawn squad, Fawn community and thank you so much for spending time with me, girl time, watching videos, uh, taking the time to comment and just everything that you do and I really really do hope that we get the opportunity to meet and that you get the chance to do my makeup because I would love that. Now this video is on the Hank and Henry what do they even call these babies? They don't have anything. First of all, I legitimately ordered these a month ago to the day. That's how long I've been sitting on them. They're called my alter ego. They're like little trios where you have the two eyeshadows and then a pigment underneath. And I bought all five that they have. So they released a couple new ones and then I picked up all of them because I need the whole collection and I want to show you guys the whole collection. So these retail for $37 a piece and shipping was $2.66 in case you're wondering. <laughs> and I added in a comment saying no signature required please because they would uh, have a signature required and that is such a hassle that I can't be bothered with signatures and I'm in a safe neighborhood so oh just something to be mindful of if you do want to place an order with them. There is a note section when you're checking out that allows you to say that you don't want a signature on there. I'm lifting my legs up. You're going to see my sweats because that's how we roll. <laughs> so I haven't even opened these guys up and I actually don't even know which one. Wow, I apparently really should have gone into these. Oh, no, that's not bad. Which ones uh, were the new releases and which ones aren't? I just went for it. So they are a cruelty-free and vegan company and they're made in the USA. They're just like, wait to this. I love the little owl. In love already. <laughs> so it says, Hank and Henry, my alter ego, we are the color society, personality, artistry, philanth philanthropy. Then it says, it includes Maggi matte eyeshadows, pressed pearls, pearlized eyeshadows, and luster lights, loose pearls. And it's also gluten free. And it has a net weight of 0.35 milliliters or 10 grams. All right. 
So this one is Pretty in Pink Luster Lights Loose Pearls. Oh, 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 look how beautiful that packaging is. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That is everything. I'm in love. Those need to be on display. And that goes with like my theme in here. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, you get a nice size mirror. Look at those two shadows. Okay, and then there's a tab to pull off, which I'm gonna need my tweezers for. My gosh. Okay, so pigment just went all over my sweats. So keep that in mind when you're pulling the tab off. That's a lot of pigment. Wow. All right, I'm gonna open up all of them off camera and then we'll get to swatching. These are stunning. I will be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the entire collection and look how unbelievably stunning all of these are. So they call this a luster light because this is unlike any matte eyeshadow I have ever felt. It is like the most micro fine, like micro finely milled. It's more like a pigment once you touch it than an eyeshadow while you're swatching it. It is the weirdest thing. It is not at all like a typical eyeshadow. It's so crazy. So, First, the first trio is Pretty in Pink. So this one is a Luster Lights Loose Pearls. And the shade is also Pretty in Pink. Sorry, it's the whole, yeah. And then we have a Maggi Matte Eyeshadow, which is obviously a very foiled metallic. So their system is just different, but it's incredible. And then the pressed pearl eyeshadow. I know Grandma Janet and Gracie V and so many of you are dying over this ballerina pink color. And it's called Malay to Belay. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. These aren't sold individually. So this is what you would get if you picked up that first set. And I cannot wait to play with these. It is such a unique formula. And these loose pigments, I didn't put a base down or anything. And I would absolutely use a mixing medium or at least wet my brush. And the payoff would be incredible. I just like lightly tapped the loose pigment on. And I know what kind of a bang these would give once you start applying it with a brush on your lid. It, it would just be out of this world. So then the next trio is Madame, Madame Benjamin <laughs> is the green trio. So I, I mean the it's a, again the Luster Lights Loose Pearl, Maggi Matte Eyeshadow, and Pressed Pearls Eyeshadow. So that's called Madame Benjamin. And then we have AKA Lady Money and Hashtag Been Blessed. I just, oh my gosh. I want all of these on my eyes immediately. The next trio is that gold. Lily, are you dying and gagging? Because I am. <laughs> is the King's Queen. So this is a luster light. 
instead of what the other ones have been. And then we have Obetch oh, as a matching mats. And then this is called Privileged, which is the pressed pearls. And then the next one is Lady Soho for this trio and that pink. Oh my gosh. So we have Lady Soho as a Luster Lights Loose Pearls, Grunge Kid, and New York Nights. I hate that pink. Oh my God. That's like the prettiest rose gold pigment. You guys, for $37, I'll get into it in a minute, but this is a steal for the amount of pigment, like an ink lot pigment is around that price point and all you get is a, a pigment. You're getting a crap ton of pigment, a beautiful metallic eyeshadow, and the most unique matte eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. And a huge mirror and gorgeous packaging. And it's vegan and cruelty free. I cannot like, get over this. So then the next trio is, oh, no, I did that one, sorry. The last trio is L. Jeffy. So we have a deep, dark, smoky one. So that one is just a luster light. Then we have, that's so gorgeous, Chingana. Magi Matte, and then C. Sepuede, I have no idea, Pressed Pearl, and I'm just, I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm gagging, I'm, I just, I don't even know what to do with all of these colors and the gorgeousness and the pigments, and oh my god. Here is what this beautiful baby looks like, because I'm just, oh, I can't get over it. I cannot get over it. Beautiful size mirror. Look at the size of the shadows. And then of course the pigment. And you get so much pigment. So when you break it down, the $37 seems really steep when you compare it to an eyeshadow palette, obviously, because you can get a really high-end eyeshadow palette, like an ABH palette for $44. You get 14 shades, and that kind of seems like a really great investment compared to getting a trio for $37. But when you buy individual pigments, they are typically around that $30 mark just for a pigment. So that's why you can't look at this and compare it to anything like an eyeshadow palette because this is in a category of its own. It is something completely unique to the beauty industry. It is very, very different from an eyeshadow palette right down to what you would, ah, oh, I just put my nail in the metallic, right down to what you would think would be a transition shade. It's so finely milled. I'm so curious as to how that's going to apply with a brush. Like, I can't wait to play with it. And then the metallic that you get packs such a punch and let me tell you, those th these pigments are going to be out of control. Gorgeous. So if you are into pigments, this is going to be so worthwhile. And the size of the mirror that you get is so big and it's letting me know that I have some major issues happening. My makeup is definitely breaking apart. Whoa big time. <laughs> so I don't know what is going on. Huh. Wow. Like it is just coming apart. I think I'm going to have to go give an update in my foundation video because this is not good. Okay. That aside, this shows all your imperfections and flaws and my foundation has totally broken apart. I tested out the new Flower Beauty one, the Illusion Lights and or Light Illusion and I thought it was amazing but it is really breaking down now. Put that aside. So 
you just have to think of this as a different type of product because it is and what you are getting knowing how much pigments cost and everything that goes into this the packaging the mirror and the fact that it is cruelty free and vegan you know there's no carmine and that pink in this shade I don't know how the heck they got that kind of pigment without carmine but they did it and it is stunning I actually I mean I was going to film one more video, but I think my makeup is so beyond wrecked at this point. It's bad. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's just take the gold because that's the only thing that's going to kind of go like the gold, whoa, gold pigment. Yeah, I shook it. Don't shake it. A lot comes out. I'm so used to having to like shake my the crab out of my products to get pigment. These ones come out really, really nicely. So let me grab one of my MAC brushes. And normally I would wanna use a mixing medium like the Inglot just to get the most bang. So I'm gonna try both. On one eye, I'm going to pick up some pigment. Where's my Milani? I spray it with Milani. Milani, her up. Go back into the pigment. And let's just see. Heck, you don't even need a mixing medium. Even if you just put this over top of glitter glue or directly on top of concealer. You obviously want to do your eye makeup first because there's a lot of fallout. But wow. I really am interested though in what happens if I mix some Duraline, Inglot Duraline with this because holy cow I'm gonna just take my Cosmo Cube mixing thing over here and take some of the pigment put it on the palette then I'm gonna take the Duraline Put one drop. Mix this together. And let me close this before that turns into a disaster. And then test this out over the other eye. Whoa, whoa, okay, a mixing agent is insane. So you can have, wow. Damn! Close her back up. <laughs> so you can either have a really nice light sparkle effect or you can go all the way with this look and have it be like BAM molten gold in your face. I love that versatility. Wow. D 
Damn, Hank and Henry, you guys did that. That is amazing. I do have gold glitter everywhere because I was being uh, presumptuous in assuming that I needed to shake this up and I didn't. So of course, I got the cold everywhere. I wonder how it would also work as a highlight. Wow. These are so pretty. Like, are they versatile enough for that? Should I do gold? Should I do a little pink? What's the first one? The softest pink. Pretty in pink. I don't know. Let's just see while we're here. Why not? Let's experiment a little bit. Okay. I do want to grab my A23 brush though. In case this does end up making everything like crazy glittery. And I just don't want that all over my Ray Morris brush. Because I have no idea what to expect. Oh my gosh, look at that versatility. You can even use these as highlights. You guys. Oh, make sure you're getting that angle. Look at that. Okay, these are such a win. Whoa. I cannot get over the beauty in these. And that they double as highlights too. And that's so pretty. Wow. Okay, well I really, just based on pigment, I think that this is worth it knowing how much an Inglot pig, well, let me, give me a second. I'll pull up exactly how much an Inglot pigment is and weight and all of that. All right, well, an Inglot pigment, just so you guys can have a comparison, is this size and you get two grams or 0 0.07 ounces. And Obviously, I mean, packaging can be deceiving, but they don't break down on Hank and Henry specifically how much pigment you get. It just tells you that the net weight is 10 grams. So you get two grams of pigment or a net weight of 10 grams in here. And I would say, it's probably comparable for pigment proportions and that, that's just throwing us off with the size of the packaging. But like I said, this is 22, this is 37, but then you're getting a lot more out of this because of the mirror and the extra shadows. So it just has, it depends on what you prefer when you're shopping, obviously. But just to try to give you a little bit of a comparison because the Inglot pigments perform the way this just did. Like they are insane. So I hope that this is kind of helpful. I wish it was more, it was broken down in more detail as to how much the, how much the, how many grams of pigment we actually get versus the eyeshadows instead of the net weight. But to me, these are so worth the investment. And I mean, how beautiful is that to just have on your vanity? Like just amazing. So you will be seeing me using these in some future tutorials because I'm dying to like a fully play, not just a little playtime. <laughs> so that does it for this video. Please thumbs it up. Please share this and spread the love so that Hank and Henry can get some recognition. They are an indie brand and they so deserve 
props. This is so cool, so amazing, and they really killed this concept, and I am in love with it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. So until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.